I guess, in a way, maybe Ross Atkins and the Blue Jays, they pulled off what they were hoping to pull off because we're an hour into this and we still haven't even mentioned the news dump press conference I, okay, on so Saturday morning. Let, let me unpack this, though. Did he throw Schneider under the bus? I think he did in terms of he didn't want anything to do with it. Right. He was like, like I was shocked, From that too. standpoint, like, yes. Well, wouldn't you think a guy in that position would only do that? Like, regardless if he's above Schneider, isn't it risky letting Schneider get on some podcast saying this guy was full of crap? It was totally his <laughs> idea. Like, if it's a bold faced lie, isn't that a really risky play for a guy yes. in his position? Yes. I, I think, what, do we have the clip? Why don't we play it here quickly for reference purposes? Because I'm sure a lot of people did not see it or hear it live. I was on my way downtown to go see the Wiggles play. And the Wiggles always, man. I, they, I was horny for it. I had to find it. I looked yeah, everywhere. So did I. I found it. I made sure to find it because I wanted to hear this thing too. This is what Atkins had to say. Because a lot, like 50% minimum right. was about the decision to pull Barrios and put Kikuchi in. Here was Ross's explanation on his role in that decision. As it relates to the meeting, those meetings are John Schneider's meetings. He has a group of individuals that he prepares with every day. His process routine, his preparation was no different that day. Uh, the group is the staff that's on the field. It's not the front office. I do not attend these meetings, and I certainly do not make those decisions. When that decision occurred, I found out about it when you did. Uh, when you say it was getting warm in the first inning, it was obviously very clear that we had a strategy to potentially deploy. There was no plan to concretely deploy that. John Schneider made that decision to deploy that, and <clears throat> that, that's, what, that's what occurred. So I'm sure, he, to your point, though, he is not lying about not being in the meetings. Yeah, but right. he could, what, he's, what he's not portraying is, I wasn't there, but I told that analytics guy that this is what's going down. That's, I think it's semantics, right? It, right. Like, he's not lying. He, I think he's telling the truth that John Schneider is in the meetings. John Schneider is in the dugout. John Schneider has to walk out and make that decision. But he ordered the hit. Well, I, that's basically, it's like a mob boss in the background. Yes. Ordered the I think it's more so, it's not that acute. I think it's more of a team philosophy where they come up, they, they operate a certain way based on how the front office operates. Right. And John Schneider is well aware that he has to operate under that umbrella. Right. And that's where it gets kind of sticky where Ross can technically claim like, hey, I wasn't in there. Uh, I don't believe for a second he was surprised when Barrios was coming out because he went on to suggest that. Um, and I also think it's the nature of, of a manager in 2023 that you know, it doesn't matter what the truth is. John Schneider has to be the one to take responsibility. Own, yeah. If you want to come back next year, that was your choice, basically. Like, And you let everyone know, if you want right. to be a manager in baseball, you do not throw your GM under the bus, ever. No. Even if he moves on somewhere else. Like, you can't do it if you want to get another gig because you but can't be known of, as a guy who's going to throw your GM under the bus. What kind of leadership play is that? Like, does this guy... Like, you know what? When Ross comes on and talks to us, he seems like a nice guy. Yeah. Like, if you're talking about a guy. He's always been good to the show. Yeah, he's been yeah. great. Always Absolutely good. Does he great. talk around actual issues? Yes, he does. But I don't know. I always wonder to myself, like, I like Griff a lot. He's an old school baseball guy. I think if he sat down, if Griff was still with the Blue Jays, he would have prepped them to kind of how to. Like, does he know how he comes across? Everyone in the city hates him right now. Well, and that, I, that started yes. before that meeting, Hayes, and it's really true after that meeting that everyone in this city thinks that he's a scumbag. Like, that, that's just the truth, man. Well, like, he's hated. Uh, yes, I think, again, professionally, it's not a personal yeah. thing. It's, it's as the GM of the Blue Jays. And I him get it. They can't the stand him, though. People can't stand the guy right now. He's I don't taking know a lot why of heat. He, well, I think that, that probably feeds into why he answered the way he answered, though. I think he knows that. 
I, I think that that sounded like a GM who's been here a long time, and people really don't know where he's taking this. But team. why wouldn't a PR guy cue him up and say, "Look, man, just bite the bullet here and take this one for the team," and mm-hmm. say, "You know what? I had something to die. It was my call, and I sent it down, and we learned from it." It's just like anyone else in baseball. You 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 admit that you use the steroid. Jason Giambi is a great example. He came out and said, "I took steroids." Everybody forgave the guy. Because he just yeah. said, you know what, I screwed up. The guys that tried to hide and lie about it, and, and like A Rod, everybody just started hating their guts. It's mm-hmm. like just come with the heat. <laughs> Stop it's just like, piddling around with all this outside. It's like he's so deathly afraid of the truth, which is like we can't find a way to win. And I'm butchering this right now, and I'm not taking any responsibility for what happened on the field. That's mm-hmm. not leadership from a guy at the top. No, and everybody sniffs it out, and everybody can't stand him right now. Awful PR move. Somebody should have gotten his ear and said, there's no way in hell you should do that. I don't think it was helpful whatsoever, the presser by Ross Atkins. I don't. I think he tried to make a point clear that is accurate. They right. didn't score any runs. He said that right. a million times, and that yeah. is 100% truthful. I get the Barrios to Kikuchi thing was absurd, and it there's blew up a, in their the, face, but Hazy, they didn't score any his, runs. Yes, there's his, there, there was his avenue to say, you know what? That was my call, and we only allowed two runs. Yes, they came in when Kikuchi came on the mound, but we couldn't score any runs, so it's a moot point. Yes. There, people would have said, okay, at least this guy's got some stones. Well, that's But he didn't true. even do that. Yes. I, I think the, the, the approach in hindsight being 2020 was we couldn't produce any runs, so we felt we had to be perfect. We collectively as a team made a decision that was a mistake. Right. And we shouldn't have done it, but it happened. And even when we did it, we still didn't score any runs. Yes. You and had there, an there avenue you to get out there's, of it. There's, you know, because that's what – that should have – you talk about PR – his plan should have been, I'm going in there and burying the bats. Because right. that's why they lost. Yeah, they Not didn't. Barrios into Kikuchi. They scored one run in game one and no runs in game two. If you score yeah. one run over two games, you can't win. You cannot win series. You know what? So, I wish this was on a Monday because on a Tuesday we could have wrote our own Ross Atkins speech. That would have been the, great. The we all do our prep. own speech. True. Yes. The old PR prep and our own individual spin on it. Because he's 100% right that the run production was not there. But when you dance yourself into a circle about the other stuff, yeah, and then it leads to a lot of confusion about communication and who's running what. Hey, your top speech would have been exactly what Ross said anyway, so it would have been a dumb segment. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. You would have separated yourself from everything. That's not true. I'm it a was leader. John <laughs> Schneider's fault. I'm a leader. Thank you I for would, coming. I would I just, never do you know, that. Seeing that, never I just, do that, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Just... If if there was mistakes made or you know the order was called, just say hey, we as a group we did this, but I was aware of it and yeah, move on. we're all there's but communication, right, the we're all on the same better. page. Like there's a lot of yeah. everyone's culpable here. But Literally. 11 a.m. on a Saturday long weekend, Ooh. I think in a way it got the job done. I do. I think it was a news dump and it, it actually was a successful one.